Mexico in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Anne Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in South Florida, bringing you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death, where we do an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster with you, fine folks, home controlling one of the monsters, rolling D10s, and making bad decisions with us. But first and foremost, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Josh. We're Twist Gaming. Hi, everyone. Hello. So we cheated a little bit last week. Yeah, we made some small mistakes. Yeah. Song of Concord is per survivor. Yep. Not everyone. We technically had enough endeavors to actually like make that work. Yeah. We spent it just killing people. Yeah. And the thing instead, we could just have done that. So we erotica that. Yeah, like it, it doesn't really change anything. Uh, and then I think we played Indomitable slightly wrong. So when we were surging mid attack, the mid attack surge, when that ended, the monster would have stood. Yes. So it didn't really. Help us somewhat. help us quite as much. So we might have gotten beat up a little bit more. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, we didn't exactly slow roll the monster. We just dashed its head in. Yeah. So I, I think we could have absorbed it without much issue. Yeah. I'm completely honest. But we're doing it again. So we're going to fight another level 3 king today. Um, we upgraded some stuff in the aftermath. So... Which you are now rocking, instead of a full singing armor set, you're rocking a full lantern armor set. Uh, and it's fully activated, so you get plus two accuracy with clubs. All your clubs gain sharp. You have the regicider, which is 1516, weapon melee grand club, heavy death metal, slow savage surpass five. When this deals more than one wound in a single wound attempt, the blow weakens the monster, it gains minus one toughness. So surpass five is if you beat the monster's toughness by more than five, you do two wounds. Additionally, we have club... What? Club spec. Club spec, which is when attacking with a club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt, which is nice. Also, um, I say we're going to play with the... Uh, there's a card under next to, next to that card you have. Yeah. So flip that over. Oh, the lantern They're going to start armor. training in this. So instead of a weapon... You get armor for How do you get armor proficient? Same way you get weapon proficient, you just have to take a hit. Okay, can they do that and weapon, or just... No, one, one or the other. Okay. So on proficiency, you get one armor at all hit location, or accuracy and movement penalty. Oh, so you would get plus two movement, plus one accuracy then, yep. from where you're at right now. And then mastery, all of your attacks gain club, increase the range of perfect hits with clubs by one. When the monster would collide with you, you may suffer additional dam or suffer damage equal to its movement and prevent it from moving, and the monster's movement adjacent to you not suffer. That's interesting. All right. Um, one of the releases, I don't recall which one. Josh just has this stuff laying around. You can take the regicide. Yeah. But the uh, regicider's cool. And then you also have the Heart Seeker, which is a. Uh, I don't know why, but. Oh, you needed the affinity for it from it. So we gave you something cool. 2511 Razor Sharp Impeccable Ignore First Strike Board Grand Fun. Um, I retooled my gear grid because I don't need the monster grease anymore, really. And yeah, so I have a God Mask now. So I have, at the start of my active insane gain one survival. Still rocking the giggling scythe, but I'm also rocking a blah, 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 whip, which is reach three deadly. And when you draw a hit location without a crit, draw a blah, 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 card and add its critical wound effect to the crit. Location. I'll give you. I'll give you these three cards. So Let's I'm start with the. Uh... And I also have an activated luck charm because why not? Yeah, lantern armor. Yeah, uh, that sounds right. I guess. Oh, yeah. The thickness. Uh, all right. How about you, Josh? Um, we got Griffith, who is our um, regalism character. Yep. Who's running uh, Phoenix armor set. 
and the blah blah sword, which is the uh, every first time you wound with this each round, you get D thousand insanity, D thousand insanity, and uh, immortal. But I also have the almanac, so I can't get immortal, so I just get insanity. Yep. Um. So that's really cool. Um. He just got the sword and shield thing, so like his weapon, weapon proceed sword, matches his does the shield too. That's cool. which is cool. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have a shield though, so just he's just got a sword. Uh, he does have high roller. That's nice. Just FYI, doesn't he have something that allows him to spend his insanity as survival? Not yet. Not yet. Right. Oh, okay. That that that's a future thing. Um, then we have Scouty, who is playing as our Death King armor set. Yeah. Um, who we just gave uh, aerial transfusion to. Yes. Give Which them is just... extra two bleeds to kill, but then they could absorb bleeds for an action for other characters. Um, so that's cool. And every time he attacks, he gets rid of all his tokens. Yeah. So, yeah. Just easy bleed ultra manipulation. Bleed manipulation. Uh, then we have Vixen, uh, who's our scout. Um, they have phasism. We also keep forgetting to put the extra terrain yeah, on the board. Yeah, we sure do. We, I need to chat, remind me. Extra terrain. We get that. Um, they have seven natural movement. Um, so what's the minus two movement from the pack? Yeah, sorry, five movement. But they also the the vermin belly boots, boots, which is plus one. So they have six movement. That's good. Um, so yeah, so that's that's who we're playing. Level three king again, going on the hunt. We know who we got. I'll go to the full board cam and we begin. Oh, you got a king icon? Yeah, I, I, I put one in. It was there last stream. Was it? I didn't notice. All right, so we're going down the line. Adam first? Yep. All right, so Adam's first drawn his hunt location, and it's the impossible door. We didn't get the fucking key, so it's just the door. The door. Keep going. You can't do anything about it. Really upset we didn't get that key. Next up is Donner. It's the Bone Eaters. Oh. A head-splitting note echoes across the empty sockets of the stone faces underneath, underfoot the Bone Eaters attack. If any survivor has an instrument, they sound the alarm. Otherwise, all survivors suffer bash at the start of the encounter. I have the, the, I have the harp. Play it, though, because we're hushed. Yes. Uh. I would say you can't do it. Hush. Yeah. All right, let's see them dongs. Let me see that dong. Why is there that at the bottom? Um, Afterwards. If it's, if it's not year 15, oh, we're all random on that. Thank you, sir. Sir, may I have another? Those dong, da dong, dong, dong. Where's the bone eater? What's it called? Yeah, there we go. Encounter showed up. Is it level three? Yes. All right. There's a level four bone eater. Fist and tooth, right? So we can just stand and start? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, perfectly formed bodies, bulging with muscle, massive eyes, capable of seeing in the darkness, Rick is friend, so, level three, they have two life, seven movement, eleven toughness, and plus two damage. They're in for a rude awakening. How much health do they have? Two. Okay. Can Twitch just freaking blow them all up? Yeah. Because they have surpass? Yeah. Get wrecked, Bone. Pretty much. Um, uh, just FYI, Scouty has priority dark token because they have anxiety. They don't have any sneaking gear. In the... We need uh, toppled pillars, stone fingers, and a column. Fibers are going to go in the middle. So we'll put Twitch. I'm and the extra them. train. Okay. Who's got priority target token? Um, Color. Red. Oh, uh, green. Green. Uh, Matt, can I have the box? Settlement box, please.
do 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 Uh, where is the top one? I need another top old pillar. Or you can give me any. Give me the fingers. Sure. Let's give you the fingers. Topple pillar and what else? Stone Kong. All the terrain is to your right, Matt. Why? Excuse me? All the terrain is to your right. All right, all right, all right. I thought the fingers went the other way. Oh, it's a different, a different level. A different. Yeah, different, different. So this one they kind of have is boxed in. We just get an orb aim. Actually, five bone eaters. This one need a two. Do 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 do. Uh, do you have bits of finger? Should be like single finger piece. Yeah, they're right there. Uh, Matt is a bone eater. So, yes. You might not want to hit them, Matt. You Why? might just want to stay away. Why? Um, because you can't ignore a call from the bone eaters. I believe that is one of the ways they can call you. If I hit them? Yeah. I don't have the perfect bone eater thing. I think it's part of your thing if, if it happens. You I, have no, to... I think it's the last level of bone eater. I am not. I see. The book is not here. I don't know. Oh. Oh, look. You set up. Basically, you can't refuse a majestic invitation from a bone eater. Oh, is it the front of the book? Front of the book. Front of your neurosis. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, no, setup's done. You said wait. And... Uh, the or. Where is that? Uh, the card's right there. In the top front left. Yeah. Yeah, Marism. Or go six spaces away from all other terrain. That's Gonna nowhere. Go on. on this board. Okay. Oh, we don't get an ore. That's fine. Um, I completely forgot how bone eaters work. So that card in front of you has their... They have surgical precision, I believe, in play. Skull, sur skull surgeons? Yeah. Yeah, skull surgeons. The other one's not in play. So what's the trait? Uh, skull surgeons, bone eaters, want your skull in pristine condition, add after damage bleed one to their basic. In addition, replace all head severe injuries with jugular incision. Your neck is expertly cut through. E layers of clothing and armor gain three bleeding tokens. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was our extra. No, it doesn't have. Could have been a nightmare tree, but I think 
that still wouldn't have been able to be placed on the board, so you just have nothing. Okay. Uh, that big card in front of you, flip that over. That is how it works. Partially how it works. These are what? Oh, this is the... The turn the order for them. Yeah. Um, and then you have these cards. I got all... You want me to hurt them? Well, you might need to leave it just that one. I need to what? We can place the or if we get the gate. No, we'll just read. We get to draw a new one and see what happens. So we really don't need the or. We we've made everything that we really wanted. Okay. I forgot. Do we go first? Um. What's it say? It say. Does the bone eater card itself say? The event card. I think we had this problem the last time. I think it's at the front of the book. Okay. Other way. Sorry. Drop it off. And got him. Park survivors, philosophy, knowledge. Slide. I don't know. Anyone remember from last time? Go down board. Dang. That arc server. Different. I mean, I'm gonna say that it, I don't. I don't see it in here. It says that they attack. So I would say. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let me see the book. Well, they're going to attack first. And... Bone Eaters will attack first. Yeah, I'm pretty, like, it, they surprised I... us over Bash, so, like, yeah. I assume, like. Yeah. They're all knocked down right now. Yes. Okay. So. So we can st stand up at the beginning of our turn, so. But it's not the beginning. Or beginning of the round. Beginning of either my turn or our turn. Oh, you stand up now? Yeah. Oh. You stand so up where all... we want. Oh, okay. We're standing up. Um, all right. So, but they're all attacking green. So, technically just the first one? Because okay. then I lose priority target token? Got it. So the first one is one that can't get to green. So it's just going to try to run up to me. And then I keep priority target token because it's it. Oh, no. It's targeting me, so I get rid of it. Yeah, targeted you see. Goes there. Closest threat in range, so it can't attack you. Okay. Next up. So, counter card is at the end of your attack unless you're in the Bone Eater's blind spot, it draws a counter card. Okay. Uh, next one is this guy. He's going to target Twitch. Twitch. He's going to move up one? Yep. And I assume Twitch is going to surge and. Uh... Yeah. They're just gonna surge and they're gonna smash. They're gonna get a counter card though. Uh, at the end of their attack. So, so as long as they, as long as they kill it. Yeah, they'll, and fine. they'll kill it. So, oh no, hold on. What? Oh yeah, never mind. The like, register is only one attack, but I forgot about surpass. Surpass. And I think they surpass by default. Uh, yeah. So oh, actually. Um. All right. So. Their weapon hits on a 5+. plus. They have 2 accuracy, so it hits on a 3+. plus. They rolled a perfect hit, which means they doubled their wound attempt with the weapon. 
So please roll D10. Uh, you do not have any luck. You do have a luck charm activated, so you crit on a 9-10. FYI. Uh, your club does not have... Oh, never mind. All your clubs gain sharp. I'm not rolling for sharp. It's not necessary. They rolled a 2, so they didn't crit. Okay. Uh, they have 8 strength. Their weapon's got 16 strength, so that's 24. The monsters have a toughness of... 11. So, yeah, they surpassed it by 13. Okay. So he's dead. Okay. Um, the opportunity cards are when the monsters roll a perfect hit. Oh, opportunity cards. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. All right. So that's done with. So then now it's this one here. So it can either attack me or green. Who would be better for it to attack? Um, Me. Right? Four? So I gain a survival. No, because I'm surging. I'll, it's moving to me. I'm surging. I'm going to hit it with a gigawatt knife. Okay. I hit on a two plus. That's three hits. What's the text of the uh, first aid kit? On arrival. Technically arrived, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, it's very dead. Next up is this one. This one's going for Twitch. What's their movement? Seven. Do we let them... I mean, they're probably fine. Does right? Red have any uh, ranged weapon? Red has... No. No reach. Okay. I'm just saying they could dash away? And like, I think they're fine. Okay. Uh, so two speed. Do they have plus speed? No, nope. they don't. There's a plus two damage. So two speed, which has five evasion. So it hits on a seven plus. Uh, nothing hit. Okay. And so now the last one's gonna go. They're gonna attack green. Josh, are you surging with green? Yes. Do it. Oh, um, it's the first time I wound with this, so I have three dice. Hit on a five plus. Five plus? Five plus. Six, six, eight, that's three hits. How much health do they have? I mean, how much their toughness or whatever? Eleven. I have eighteen. Three, eight, eight. Dead? Dead. I got 466. Insanity. Insanity. Okay. That's the end of the monster's turn. Now I'm at 691. Now it's our turn. Uh, Matter who goes. Um, which will attack now. Said you don't want me to attack the other. Uh, do we get weapon proficiency? I have the book in front of me. Yes, we do. Um, so green needs the hit. What about green? What's up? Roll the three? Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, 
not rolling your sharp die. It's completely unnecessary. Going to mill us through our good rolls for two. As long as you don't roll a one, it's dead. Six. Dead. Dead. All right. All right. Now I'm going to hit it with the educator. Educator? Edu Edu educator. Seven and a ten. You get anything for perfects? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um. Two hits. Two and nine hits. Dead. We win. Kill the bone eaters. Uh, no, mine's the spear that does the damage if I draw the trap. Yeah. Remember how I was gonna say? Remember how scary the bone eaters were? But they kind of never were. Yeah. We kind of always just beat the snot out of them. I mean, we also like should have fought them like a while ago. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, the Bone Eater Corpse is petrified. Roll a d10 for each Bone Eater defeated. On a 7 plus, the survivors manage to carve a random basic resource from its body. What's our rewards? Uh, a survivor gains the Royal Decorations Rare Gear and Marrow Hunger Impairment. Uh, one. We got one random basic. One random basic? Yeah. What's our... We got Hunt XP, Weapon Proficiency? Top right. Yes, one Hunt XP, one Weapon Proficiency. So, Josh, what's the Royal Decorations? Of... I, I will look that up in just a second. Which does not get a check. Did not take any damage. They needed to get hit. <laughs> oh, so maybe we should have let him get hit. So we get one basic from them. Yeah. We have the scavenger kit, so we get a basic from that. Yep. Um, the Royal Scalpel is a monster resource. There are none. So we got a bone and a hide. Okay. And then we get, what was the rare gear? I don't remember. I closed the book, but I told you three times. I don't know. I'll listen to you. You expect me to listen to you, Matt? I do. Occasionally. Royal something. Royal decorations? I want to say. Yeah, royal decorations. Uh, the weapon below this gains the bone keyword precision one and loses frail. What's precision one? Uh, on a perfect hit, inflict an automatic critical wound to the first exit locations you resolve. can't really make it work right now unless I got rid of, like, the scavenger. And I don't want to get rid of the scavenger. What do you think? Um, so sorry, it was perfect hit, auto crit, the first roll? You, yep. So you know what I could do then? Well, I could use my high roller... To do the perfect hit. To do the perfect hit. And then get an extra hit and get four crits. It's dumb. It's dumb. Um, we can just give it to Vixen to carry. And make it work someone later. Has to, someone has to, to carry it. Longer. That's fine. <clears throat> um, we're going to get rid of the bone sickle. So we don't have a sickle anymore. Okay. But we still... We still set it up on the board. Yeah. We just we don't have the sickle anymore. We don't have a sickle anymore. Okay. Of a marrow hunger. Hunger. Tendy hunger. Tendy, 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 tendy hunger. That song? Yeah. All right. Go back on the board. Uh, no. Uh, there is a level four bone eater. 
together. So, all right, we did it. Uh, so next up is Griffith. Fireworks. Bright lights explode in the sky. The survivors must scrounge up the courage to continue. Do we have 16 plus courage combined? Yes. We've done this like five times. Uh, we didn't last time. Oh, I thought we did. No. One, two, three, four, six. five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus six, that's 14. Not that, enough. Not enough. Uh, otherwise, uh, the event revealer, that's yeah. Griffith, suffers three brain damage. The hunting party must roll twice on the table before moving. Three brain damage, Matt. Oh, is that the... <laughs> Three brain damage. <laughs> Drop in the bucket. I'm down to 688. So, did you hear about Pokemon Go's community day? No. So apparently every year Pokemon Go does like a day where they... I don't know. But it's on April 20th this year. Okay. And the Pokemon that they chose as the mascot for it, Bellsprout. Which is Pokédex number sixty nine, so it's sixty nine on four twenty, and Bellsprout has a unique move apparently called Magical Leaf. So it's like it's just really bad humor. Uh, forty three, Josh. What's a forty three? The number. One more than the answer to everything. Forty seven. Forty two. Fresh kill. A carpet of skittering bugs points the survivors to a freshly killed monster. Scavenging insects try to defend their dinner, but either the survivors fight them off to claim their prize. Each survivor rolls 2d10 and adds their hunt XP. The highest... This is stupid. The highest scoring survivor slays the most vermin and wins the prize for themselves. Gain a random basic resource and a random vermin. Okay. So, we don't need to roll. What? Like, why do we need to roll? Oh, yeah, I guess... We just get a basic and a vermin. Right? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Schematic, Matt. You're schematic. Maybe we'll get our Cyclops flying. Be nice. Nightmare, Nightmare tick. tick. This is our second that we have to resolve. So this is uh, Vixen. Gowdy? Vixen. Gowdy was this one right here. Oh, yeah. Yep. They rolled a eleven. Ooh. We just got eleven recently too, right? Yeah. Monster poop. Uh, we're we're investigating. So Vixen gains one understanding. Oh, they hit um insight. Do you want to do insight first? Yes, because that's how it triggers. All right. All right, go ahead and roll. And because it's during the five. hunt phase, you get explore. Five, gain three insanity, three survival. <clears throat> three insanity, three survival? Yeah. Now roll another d10. <clears throat> um, and we get a seed pattern card. Uh, eight. And this uh, investigates, so I get plus two to roll. You may... Uh, just... You may skip the next hunt. Okay. You want to skip it? Um... Okay. What's our seed pattern? Uh, brazen bat. Here with the class. Oh, it's a, it's a baseball bat. Uh, two bone, one dried canvas, one scrap. A survivor with rhythm chaser. Needs scrap smelting and dried canvas and piss. We don't have anyone with rhythm chaser. So we're going to skip that next one. Then it's back to Adam. And it's the King's Procession. Uh, string of Lanterns leads the King and his entourage across the prize and roll a d10. So Chat, please roll a d10. So I think you get Rhythm Chaser from drums. Yeah, you can. So it's actually not hard to get. You yeah. just have to roll on Vault List. To... Which you just don't, don't roll a 1. You roll a 1, your head explodes. Oh, four. Uh, all survivors lose one D five survival. Hold a four, so I lose two survival. Two. Griffith loses. 
four. Cody loses one. And Cat loses one. Cat loses two. Yep. Not too bad. Now it's time for everyone's favorite. Overwhelming darkness. Well, three. Um, I get a minus one accuracy. Should have done the random haunt event. I don't know if that said so skip it. Chance to get the key. So you get the dragon true. player. It's true. I get a minus one accuracy token. Okay. Chat gains a minus one evasion token. All other survivals aside from chat gain one survival. I also rolled a six and a seven. Okay, so same, thing. The same thing. Minus one evasion. Oh no, a six. Yeah, sorry. Minus one evasion, plus one survival. Okay. Seven? Uh, seven is one arm damage. Everyone gets two survival besides... Switch and your person, they get one. All right. Easy enough. Now, they're minerals, Marie. I mean, no, herbs. 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 Her All survivors gain one survival. Herb gathering. All right, so we need. Can we roll? Yeah. Does it say we need a sickle? Does not. Okay. You don't need. You don't need a sickle. All right. All right. So, uh, chat roll forty tens. Forty tens, and we still get our plus ten because it's after the overwhelming darkness. Um, so we can't explore the swamp though. We need a sickle to explore the swamp. So, what happens if we get some high block? Uh, gain a fresh acanthus. So, we actually would prefer to get 45 to 70. Okay, we got it. That was a shit roll, but 13, 23, 23, three, only need 45. Yeah. One four ten, so another fifteen. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Nope. You failed. We need seven, Josh. There, we got it. We did it, fam. Seven. Oh, okay. If you made us get the other thing, <laughs> uh, we get two fresh acanthus, a vermin, and all survivors gain three survival. Two fresh acanthus, a vermin, and three survival? Yeah. And this is now with Donner, so that's me. I need a random hunt event to be rolled, so chat, please roly poly that for me. We got a crab spooter! Crab spooter, crab spooter. I need to re-roll. I need to redraw that. I was missing a card. You're missing a spooter? 16. Josh, what's a 16? The age where no. the average no isn't cockroach is what we got. Isn't cockroach? Yes. Everyone's at max survival. Night terrors. Uh, your miserable sleep is played with mind-bending nightmares. Each survivor rolls a d10. If the result is greater than their insanity, they learn something. Oh, two. I'm definitely more insane than that. Yeah, you got 15. Um, so I would gain a disorder, but I can't. Okay. Um, Griffith also rolled plus than their insanity, but they also have an almanac, so they cannot gain a disorder. Okay. Uh, the scout did roll a two, and they have 15. So... Chat rolled a three. They only have six, so they also get a disorder. Scouty rolled an eight and only has seven insanity, so he actually rolled higher than insanity. You gain an understanding. Okay. So we need two disorders? Yes. So chat, two disorders, who's the first one for? Let's do Twitch chat. and then and then Vixen. All right. So chat, please do exclamation mark D-I-S in the chat. A little bit of this, a little, little bit, of bit of that. Uh, we got Pacifist. You cannot activate weapon... Oh. oh. Well, 
Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> oh no. What to do now? Oh. Need to get them another disorder. <laughs> Four disorders. They no. they only had they had zero disorders before. We can we can cure it when we get back. Right, but for this fight. I know. Oh boy. Maybe they'll explore Kingdom Death. That's it's No, they can't get into Kingdom Death. No, because yeah, because you <laughs> Unless we get the hunt event that allows us to start in You know? We had that one already. Please? Yeah, you need the key to do it. Oh. Right. Yeah, you can run around. Alright, so this is on Griffith. Violent landscape. The air tastes like iron, and the ground turns red with wet blood. A field of monster corpses stretches out. The only sound is the squelching steps. All survivors suffer two brain event damage. Nominate a survivor to investigate the field of detritus. Um, I'll, I have explored. It's not. Oh, it is investigate. Uh, yeah, go for it. Look four, a six, large flat tooth. So we, I'm just going to grab a bone. All right. So now it's Gowdy. Gowdy doesn't. Know. I mean, there's potentially a random hunt event that could yeah. remove disorders, right? Like those are the drinking from the fountain one. Yeah. There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. That's uh, unfortunate that the Regicider Survivor got that. Yeah. 98. I think that's the, the Portcullis. Well, we have no key. Bloody eyes. Survivors find a trail of blood. It pulls in the eye sockets of the stone faces. Blood still warm. The event revealer may investigate. Roll a d10 or ignore the trail and end the event. Um, you have... This is bad, isn't it? Is Scouty. Oh, it's Scouty? Okay. Do you have Explore? No, I have Cure. So, one through three. Choose a random survivor, they get three bleeds. All survivors suffer three brain events. Four through six, gain one population. All survivors suffer three brain event deaths. Seven plus, start the showdown immediately. The monster suffers one wound. Okay. I think we just keep. One. One. I think we just keep going. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the now chance to kill you. It's Vixen. You have two bleeds. Oh no, you didn't get the two bleeds. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, we could have done it. Unimaginable. If all survivors in the hunting party have five plus courage, we don't. Survivor with the least courage, but has two. Uh, Griffith also has two, and so does Vixen. Uh, they begin loudly to describe the size and appearance of the king. If the other survivors have a combined com yeah. combined 16 plus understanding, I have four. I have 12. That's 16. They're able to convince the, the prostrate survivors to shut their mind's eye. Okay, so we just we tell them to stand up. And now we we fight the king. Well, we fight the king. Twitch just stands there. Stands there and looks pretty. Is there anything that they could do with their... I mean, they want to take a hit at least, right? Yeah, they just want to tank. Alright. That's disappointing. I'll give them Scouty the playoffs. Scouty doesn't? No. Oh, can I get the terrain cards from the bone fight? Don't tell Scouty. Yes, we got the bone eater or... XP. No, you 
you didn't get the weapon XP because you were supposed to get hit for that. Yeah. Let's take damage. Or? The what? The, the or one. I don't see it. Yeah, I'm working on it. I got it, guys. I remembered this time. Yeah, that doesn't go. Go without it. <laughs> Good. Frosted flakes. Oh. Then... We can have a topple pillar. Taco pillar? Topple pillar. A topless pillar. What's a topless pillar, Josh? Top pillar or, or columns is what we got. Hands just, I mean, they, they, monsters just. Uh, Scouty has prior target token. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Columns? Was it three? Take him out already? Or no, top of column. Like the long one. This one? This one. Where does it go? I say it's from the board edge, I believe. Away from the monster, sorry. Alright. Um, you don't have any knowledges. You have psychopathy and homicidalism. Which is psychopathy is reduced sanity damage taken by one to one. Oh, we should have been doing that. Yeah. So that happened twice, right? So they should have more. <clears throat> Alright, Josh, can you set the mo the survivors up five spaces away from the monster? We've got party target? Uh green. Uh, one more. Want me? Which can go on that side, I guess. Now it's going to go way back here. That. Okay, and then red. Where's red? Uh. All right, red. Um, I'm gonna put switch back here. Red there. Oh, topple blocks line of sight, and we hop over it. Good. All right, so monster stuff. He's got ghost geometry, so that's the one where he basically ghost steps around. Uh, if he glides with another survivor when he lands on top of them, it's uh. Five brain damage. He's full power, so the king starts with all energy cards in play. The start of the monster turn, if all energy cards are in play, draw an AI card. So you're going to draw two AI cards then. No, we're all hushed. Oh, we're all hushed. Yes. So ignore. Audio synthesis. Uh, the monster converts sound into energy. Uh, at the beginning of the turn, draw an energy card. Do not drop all survivors are hushed. These two cards are nerfed. King's new clothes, zone of hush. That's everywhere. Because we're hushed. Uh, current, that's the chain six or chain X, and then King's presence. Uh, all that is we. This is the one I think we fudged up last time. I think correctly. We didn't do it. Uh, at the oh, end, because that's the right. We can all stand up anyway. Oh, that's if, true. We have this into. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. It, right. It's why we right. didn't care about it. Okay, so monster goes first. Yep. Monster draws an AI card. Yep. Monster's going to do Creation Spark. Closest threat facing, but we know that it's going to be green. Yeah. Green, yep. So uh, Scotty's going to get an Insanity because he's Monster Controller. And we're going to need 60 tens to be rolled. Huh? It's on a 2+, plus, but he has plus 2 accuracy, so it's a 0+. Plus. Um, I have 2 evasion. Hits you on a 2+. Plus. That's rough. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. You're gonna cry. 
And then afterwards, he's going to current three. And current is based off of the survivor's location. So there's no survivors within three spaces of you. So, so this is matter. once? Two. No, oh, once. Yeah. It hits you five times. Yay! For six damage. How much armor do you have? Oh, is this the king armor guy? Yeah, I have 15 armor. Hands, hands, body, body, head. So, six damage to the head. 12 damage to the body. Why don't you dodge I'm gonna one dodge, of the... I'm going to dodge one of the bodies. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't you dodge one of the bodies? 12 damage to the hands. That's the end of his turn, right? Yep. Okay. Our turn. Probably should have surged to put up my shield, but whatever. No. Yeah, probably. That's fine. All right. Uh, check out locations. Yep. Boop. We have an impervious, a first strike, and a first strike. So one is to send someone into kingdom death. Uh, actually, both of these are to send someone into Kingdom Death. Okay. And then there's the Hollow Crown, which is... You knock his head off. But if you don't, then you gain priority target token. We want to send someone into Kingdom Death. I'd like to get that one thing. Yeah. But who wants to go? I don't know. Who can we send? Like, who makes the most sense to send? The scout. No. I don't know if I can cat eye circle on there. Because I'm off the board. Yeah. So. So Twitch a, can't go because Twitch can't attack. Yeah. So it's either the thousand sanity guy, the king's armor guy, or the crit guy. Yeah. I don't think it makes sense for me. To no, it doesn't make sense for you to go at all. You, I'll have I'll do it with green. Why green? What's the logic? He's already got a bunch of his armor taken away. That's pretty true. easily. That's true. Um, and he's not stuck in there forever. He's not stuck in there forever. Griffith has high roller. You have high roller. Yeah. Oh, Griffith, Griffith has, has high roller too. Okay. Yeah. That makes Griffith sense. has the Phoenix armor set, so okay. He ignores a bunch of hits anyway. What's your speed? Uh, two. Okay. I'm gonna put. The impervious one underneath it, because I really don't care about it too much, to be honest with you. And I like this crit location, because it gives the monster minus one act token, so I'm going to keep that one for me. Okay. And I hit on a two, because I have my weapon six plus, I have four accuracy. Yeah. So, two plus. Three and nine. All right, so you're attacking his Reaper's Maul first. So you don't want to crit here. What do you crit on? Ten. I have no luck. A one. One. Okay, so you failed. And okay. you're you're now in Kingdom Death. And you cancel the other reaction. Yep. Alright. So Kingdom Death. You are here. for now. Yep. Okay. Where's the place I need to go to, like, right below me? Uh, the Fire Palace, which is... Yeah, here. Okay. How many spaces do I get to move? Three? Three, yeah. Two turns for you to get there. Yeah, I j if I recall the reaction on the Fire Palace... Is people take damage. 
Um, um, hit location. Hit location card. Oh, yeah. So, I don't want to be close Ooh. to it when it opens up. We should have done this better. What's up? You're going to take five damage to your arms. That's fine. Do you take that? I'll be a heavy hit. Oh, okay. Fine. All right. Do you want to recheck hit locations, or should I just YOLO it? Only no one, right? Yeah. I'll search and check. Okay. Um... Uh, it's two more that get him naked. So, the good news is we got one of them out of play already. So, it doesn't matter if I crit them. Do that. I can, I can take it. Okay. My only problem is, if I don't crit, I get sucked into Kingdom Death also. And next time you just jump out. It takes, it, two, it takes two turns. Yeah, that's to jump fine. Out. Okay. So, I'll attack. Move into... We'll move there. Three rolls. I hit on a two plus. There's nothing else I want to hit with, right? I don't want to hit... Yeah, they all have crit, so it doesn't matter about the blah 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 card. Uh, five, five, one. So I hit twice. What's the text for your mask? Is that the beginning of your act or at the start of your act? You're already at max level. Okay. So what you're saying is, though, I should have dashed over. Could dash and then could have surged, but problem. Because then technically, if I get sucked into Kingdom Death, I'll then have my action to move. Let's do that. So I've net. You're down two right now. Down but two. You're gonna be racked. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm attacking from Keeper's face. So uh, black is primary. That worked good for me last time. Okay. Um, you crit on. Question. I have four luck and a luck charm. So five plus. Okay. Ooh, I rolled a one. I get sucked into Kingdom Death. Hey, Green. How's it going? Hey, buddy. All right. So now it's the beginning of my act. I gain a survival. Yep. I move phases. I'll go the other way. Or does that make you end on this bit? That doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You can go there. Okay. Actually I'll move the exit to the top. I have no idea what you move to the exit on the on the side. Because I think that puts you within like the three spaces or whatever of the Fire Kingdom. If it does explode. Oh, okay. Like Alright. Good so far. Yep. I know, right? Do I just YOLO it? Oh, did we all gain three survival on arrival? We were all at max, okay. so, yeah. We take pretty nasty damage if you hit the trap card. We, we suffer three severe injuries if you hit the trap card while we're in Kingdom. Okay. Not nice. So I, would, I would say please don't YOLO. No YOLO? Okay. Um... But we want Twitch to run into tank it now. Right? Or... And they have to get hit anyways, and right now the scout's going to be the target. Oh, I forgot to add two insanity. Or, you're not paying. All right. So Twitch is going to move in. They have five movement. Right? Yep. Okay. So now it's Monster's turn. Yep. Monster control is going to pass to Donner. Draws an AI no, card. It goes to Adam. Oh, that's right. Uh, a weighted crush, the monster stretches to an impossible height and stares down at the survivors, turn to face the most survivors. Uh, we have a mulligan? We technically do. 
Uh, all survivors intimidate all targets. Each target suffers five damage, brain damage. The monster's unbearable size causes your body to shrink away. Each target is dominated and gains one torment. I don't face this way, so it hits Greth of Yeah. Yeah. So, five brain damage? Yeah. And a torment. Really. Yeah. That's a mean one. But we stand back up now. Yes. So it's our turn. Yep. Scott will check hit locations. Oop. All right. So we got. We have the heavy chain crit location. Uh, it's it's a really good set of three crits again. Uh, one. Do I exit and then try to hit him? Where do you exit to? Adjacent to the monster. If you end the labyrinth on an uh, choose any other, if you end on an exit to so place yourself on the showdown board adjacent. To the okay. So you gain a survival. Gonna be racked. Yeah. So I move to the exit. Do you guys actually have in one insanity? It's not a hard that horrible thing, because if you get brain trauma, so you get minus one to the roll now. Get disorder. You have a chance to get disorders. Yeah. Maybe there's also one like here's disorder. Or that might be if no, we have darkness. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna exit and with the minus one you can't find it because you need ten. So because I exited hmm. with the movement, I still have my activation. The end of your turn. You... If you move up to three at the beginning of your act, move up to three spaces. If you end on a labyrinth token, explore that location. If you end on an exit, place yourself on the showdown board adjacent to the camp. Doesn't say at the end of your act. Okay. So I'm going to attack him. He is a butthole. And this actually is better for me now because the first one has no reaction. So I can kind of game that a little bit more. I hit three times. It rolls 747. Okay, cool. Uh, so, Chain of Silence. I'm going to try to. Black is still primary. Roll a nine, that's a crit. All right, so we get a heavy chain. We do a damage to the monster. He's knocked down. I attack his majestic gut. Uh, if there are any catabolism energy in play, it suffers an additional wound. Does it get discarded? No. Okay. And then I attack his coin, and we get a king's coin. Get a king's coin. Cool, cool, cool. All right. That's more like it. I'm going to search with the scout and check out locations. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, trap card is next. Then we have a crit gain a damage token and death metal and crit minus one toughness and a monster reason. What's the speed of your whips? Two. I can whip. You whip? You can nay-nay? I can also nay-nay. Yeah. Should I go for it? Wasn't one of those a uh, persistent injury that you just hit? Uh, yeah. The first one? Yeah, it is. Thank you. Thank you. That one means nothing. That one would knock me down. Which is fine now. I'm okay with this. I'll attack it. No, oh, I forgot I had this. What? I have the gauntlets, which is before drawing hit locations, you may make one additional attack roll. I could have three speed. If I want it. Alright, so I'm going to attack with a blah, 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 blah whip. It's a seven plus accuracy. But I have three natural. And I'm in the blind spot. Uh, so it's uh, three, three plus to hit. 
10 and a 9. If anything, we're perfect on. Um, and I, I don't get to use the cool ability because these all have crit locations on them. So first I'm attacking the Majestic Left Pauldron. So this one, it's actually easier for me to crit with this because this actually has deadly. The Giggling Scythe doesn't have deadly, okay. which is funny. So I crit on a 4+. plus. Black is primary. I rolled a 1. Who ones? I rolled double 1. So it, it fails, so that doesn't happen. We don't get the uh, death can metal. You roll better. I can try. Now I'm attacking his arm rib cage. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. I crit. Uh, so he gets minus one toughness, and we get a monster race. And he gets a wound. All right. So we know that the tarp card is next. That's nice. I'm gonna shuffle the hit location deck. Carry it. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me parry that motherfucker. <laughs> Which we probably should have done that. Buried it and had me swing in with the giggling scythe. Yeah, that's fine. But whatever. I got to use my whip, which is fun. You're not a gambler yourself. So we're burying it, right? Yeah. Remind everyone what that is. Um, so it's the regal plume. Once per round, during your act, you may spend two insanity to look at the top card of the hit location deck, and you may place it on the bottom. So... I could just go in there and smash it. Yep. Oh, and he's he got knocked down. But he gets back up. But he gets back up. So we're going to keep him. Oh, uh, we got the Ancient Blade. Hmm. I'm going to charge in because I can't. You know it's somewhat safe now? Just because I get extra strength in it's cool. <laughs> okay. Go for it. YOLO. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Get your full movement, too. Strength. No. That's what I thought. Not at all. That's what I thought. I just realized I'm kind of cutting off the king. So I have three speed. My weapon hits on a six plus. Okay. I have one access to the five plus. Okay. Seven, seven, two. So two. only two hits. All right. No first strike. This one has no... I mean, really, they both have no negative reaction. Uh, can you roll a... D1000 for me, please. I need some more insanity. So when you hit or when you wound? Uh, a wound, technically. But I'm going to need it anyway. Uh, are you feeling lucky, punk? Four? Two. Do this one first, then. 822. I don't know about you. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Which is a wound. Okay. Um, seven plus 18 is 25 yep plus another seven for my charge 32 32 so i i hit it yeah you don't have overpower though right no or whatever I don't it have is anything cool either. all right so this one would have him draw an energy card but it doesn't matter because all those energy cards are in play so whatever uh then next you're attacking the stone infants josh so... i have over 1500 insanity roll again josh Five. The wound. So do another damage. All right. Yeah, um, we would still hit cap. I'm I'm gonna surge. Okay. Don't we have sword spec too? So technically, you get to roll first and apply. Yeah, I I do have sword spec. Uh, we didn't get a sword master. Uh, no, we did get a sword master. Yeah, we have a sword master. I also just got sword spec as well. Oh. Uh, two ten seven. Two hits. Two hits. All right. So you got. So I can't really choose which hit location because it's just gonna randomly draw one anyway. Yeah. All right, so first up is you're attacking the Spire of Eyes. Nine. Definitely a wound. Definitely a wound. Um, all survivors in the monster's field of view lose five survival. So everyone but you, because you're in the blind spot. Yeah. A lot of survival. 
And now the Spire of Eyes is unlocked. What does that give us? I don't know. Dark Tower Ledger. We don't, we, we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? that's kind of cool, what? because we can choose which one we do, right? Yeah. Um, as you ascend the Thin Airs, un... shuffle the AI deck and discard piles. Arrange the deck in any order. Does anything happen to me, or just rearrange nope. it? you just get a free, and then until the deck is shuffled again, any player may look at the cards. Okay. Limit once per showdown, but that's really good. Yeah. All right, next up. I don't know if I did a wound. The Dork Dork Forest. Or that's enough for one. All right. Uh, your survival is equal to the Wait. survival with the least survival. Yeah, it's enough for one. It's actually, I think almost just enough. Purple player got pacifist and now just sits around for the entire fight. Does the player just go take a nap? I mean, you help brainstorm the fight, theoretically. You know? So you did you change your survival? Yeah, I lost one survival. And then the Dork Dork Forest is now Dork, open. Dork Forest. Mitch, that one is the stupid one that destroys your Okay. Gives you the entry route. No. Okay. Alright. Did I search? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Which one to move closer to get hit? Hey, go on his face, I guess. All right. Monster control is going to pass to Donner. Forest is where we found Adam, right? No. We found uh, Adam in the. Oh, technically, you're right. It's the lightning forest, though, not the dark, dark. Uh, the awaited one. I I don't know if I did. How many wounds do you have him at? I have him down to 19. 5, 6, 9 health down? He had 28, right? Yes, yeah, so that's right. Okay, cool. The Awaited One. Place the king in the center of the showdown board, facing the most survivors. It strikes a geometrically impossible pose. Intimidate all survivors. Uh, each survivor rolls a d10. If the result is greater than their courage, they suffer the flea brain trauma. Okay, we're just going to get the flea. What is flea again? Run towards the board edge. I know, but do we get like a disorder or something? I don't remember. I went the wrong way. Always go the wrong way. Flea! Uh, knocked down. On, uh, knockback equal to your movement towards the closest board edge, 1d5 insanity. Actually, gaining extra insanity is kind of nice. I gained 5 insanity. Okay. Uh, scout also. That gets 4. And then what's the... Uh, they, Twitch, Twitch gets 1. But Twitch rams into the bad poster. Yeah, they're just there. Okay. Sorry, did you want to move around at all? No. Okay. I want, I want the location to come up first before I move. You don't want to do the AI card thing? I guess I could do that. Yeah. So that was the Spire. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, do you have to do the Oh, roll? yeah, you have to do the, cur the Courage roll. Sorry. Not paying it. I rolled higher than my courage, so... I rolled higher. Oh, my God. Which has two courage. And they don't move either way. Yeah. Alright, and they rolled... 10, so... Yeah. Alright, back to our turn. Are we checking hit locations? Yeah, let's check hit locations. Boop. 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 
Uh, all right, so we have an inflorescence. We have... Okay, so this one, if you crit, it coughs the survivors up out of kingdom. So we don't want to crit this one. What's the last one? The last one is... Actually doesn't have a crit location. So I kind of want to use my whip on it. This is the one that puts the Royal Causeway tiles on the map. Okay. Well, I was going to say, because you could also use the whip on the other one. So when the event card comes in, you crit the, the new hit location card. Oh, that's so true. The reaction, the, the reflex oh, yeah, so I can it. put those two on top and just hit those. Yep. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to have to dash. I gain a survival. Yep. No, I dash first. Uh, yeah, max. sure. Hit max. Okay. Go there. I am attacking with my whip. It is a three plus to hit. Two hits. Boop, boop. Fluorescence goes over here. I draw a random one of these bad boys. Lightning Forest! Ah. Oh. But Matt, it now has a critical location on it. Draw one of your crit cards. Oh, that's true! This is well, why I yeah. told you to do this! Thank you! Sorry! <laughs> I herpaderped. Ooh. So now has... This crit location. Okay. Can gain minus one damage token, apparently. Uh, all right, so black is primary. Not a crit. With the four plus. Rude. No. All right, so... It is a wound. It is a cool whip. Um, place Gabriel's tree under the king. Perform basic action targeting the attacker. This attack gains after damage current six. All right. So performing a basic again. So what's the Gabriel's tree text on it again? Uh, it's under the bone eaters. Yeah, I believe. Uh, survivors in the tree gain plus two evasion. When you are on, basically everything is considered in the current path, right? When survivors not on terrain, they are knee deep in the fluid. They are always affected by current, even if they're out of its range or not wearing. Them. So everyone's gonna get attacked by this. And... Yeah. yeah. All right. So basic action targeting me, but the the text is though that it's after damage. Yes. So if you don't get damaged, we might be okay. You're fine. I don't know where I put his base. Have it. Did this too. It's uh, it was six speed last time, right? I believe so. Six speed. It's on a 2+, plus, but I have 8 natural evasion plus an activated... don't have an activated. He's got plus 2 accuracy, right? Yes. So it's an 8 plus to hit me. 4 hits. That sucks. That's just me. Still on the 10s. Yeah, I'm going to steal a 10. Still 3 hits. All right. Body, head, feet for six damage. Body. I'm okay. But that hurt. But now I got my auto crit. Um, 
So now it's going to go after Twitch. So we need 60 tens for them. Because Matt changed up his gear, right? Yeah. I, like, I remember that had a bunch of stuff that mitig like, minus his accuracy. So I'm like, oh, I'll crit it before bad. Yeah. So I I I want to say hey, I learned my lesson, you know. Who's this? Thing? This is this chat. So they have five natural evasion. Um, no other evasion modifiers. So it is a five plus to hit. Five hits. Not bueno. They can dodge one. This is a reaction. Reaction or attack. Okay. okay. You can't dodge. They can dodge. Waste, waste, body, body, feet. How Six much damage? Six? Yeah. I have to take a sphere either at the waist or the body. Do the waist. Do they have any systematic pressure? They don't. Uh, we have a canthus, don't we? We do. We can technically munch on the canthus. Right? Yeah, they technically could do that. Why don't we do that? Okay. We'll we'll say that. Of course they will. Too late. We already said we we're gonna do that. So it'd be right before the last hit. Right? They would have full armor everywhere except their. It's only one hit oh, location, okay. so it's they're just. Uh, that last attack just didn't happen. Okay. All right, six more D-tons. I might lose the scout here. At least we know the trap card's on the bottom. I have no idea what you're evading. Uh, I have two evasion. They're six hits. They're six damage. Here's great. Nor hits the arms and the waist. <laughs> I blame Matt for this. Uh, maybe. This was Josh told me to put the god mask on my character. You can blame Josh. How six damage? Yeah, six damage each. For the body, so it's a light on the body, a light on the... Feet. And a dodge. Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Now the scout dies. I'm going to search to check out locations before I die. So the god mask made me retool a bunch of my gear. So I got rid of monster grease because I needed extra affinities to make it attack. So I had to like throw in the bone club and the croc bone hammer for shits and giggles. Which took away my monster grease. Um, checking out locations. Yep, I heard. Five two two three six nine. Have zero evasion. It hits you as long as they don't roll a one. Yes, that's not. Who has Dark Impulse? I do. Twitch does. I already dashed. Twitch can theoretically dash. Yeah. You'd have to dash two. I would have to dash two, which is fine. Previous gear grid was better. Yeah. <sighs> Debatable. We're trying something new. Yeah. So you're going to get eaten? Uh, good. I just get eating because I'm going to take 
I'm going to take six severe injuries. You're going to die. I'm going to die. There's, yeah. there's no... Yeah, you're going to die. There's no way to save myself. So you're going to dash. I'm going to dash. Wait, you have six movement. Yeah. I could eat you also. I have one accuracy and three strength. So whoever yeah, no, would like those no, studs. No, 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 no. Oh, I plus movement. I plus two movement. You have no evasion. I have no evasion. Okay, so it doesn't really anyone out. So we'll give it to Twitch. But like, who needs the strength or the accuracy? Uh, ideally Twitch. Okay. Strength doesn't help me. One accuracy might help me a little bit, but it would, like, just for this showdown, it helps Twitch more in the long run. Does it? Okay. So Twitch is going to run E. Okay. So they spend two survival for yeah, this. Yeah, you just can't activate weapons. Nothing says you can't eat another person. Yeah. Just, there's no weapons. So what do they gain again? One accuracy and four strength? One accuracy, three strength, and two movement. Two movement? Oh, wait. I have nine natural movement. Not seven. I turned my... It, it, it was a seven. It got turned into a nine. So it's plus four movement. So they didn't even need to move. No. So they spend one less survival? Yeah. So they have nine natural movement. Yes. And if they get the lantern armor thing... They'll get two more movement. Yeah, so they technically don't need to really activate those... The greaves they could mess with their gear grade more yeah no they, they fucking do not need to activate at all waste of everyone's time now oh. unless okay. they just want to like scurry around the field and you check hit locations no what are they checked what hit locations oh check. Yes, yes i did so the top one is the the crit eject everyone from kingdom death okay so I need red to hit that one. Okay. So red will charge on in to move me seven spaces. Just enough. I have three speed. Yeah, and you could just like Benny Hill, you guys chasing the king around. Five, six, one. I so wanted two hits. I wanted to get. All right. Uh, the only problem is you get this first. Is that right? Under the One, two, or three. Three. Fingernail castle. <laughs> Wound. Wound. Uh, all survivors in the monster's field of view, which is everyone. Okay. Suffer five brain damage. Uh, Twitch uh, has to do a brain trauma. Oh boy. Fingernail Castle. You can just give us a free death medal. Get a free death medal from it. The nine. Yeah. And they have one torment? One no. torment. Lunacy, gain a random disorder in 1d5 insanity. All right, chat, you get, you get a disorder now. This is a step in the right direction for you. Binge eating. They already have consumable gear, so that's actually fine. And they gain three, three insanity. Yep. Have you been discarded energy cards for fluorescence? What? Got that skin for fluorescence. I don't know. In fluorescence? 
Oh, I have not. Oh. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Okay. Shit. I didn't think we did that last time either. So he has four. Three. Okay. Oh, we get to choose which cards. Choose whatever is the... Okay, so hear me out here. The creation cards is the survivor furthest from the king suffers monster level brain damage. So switch run away and just... Want to try that? It's risky. It is risky. They could die. I don't want catabolism. And then death is you lose survival. Five survival. Do they have their reroll? They do. Go for brain damage. Okay. So I'll remove... Oh, the Scott needs to get removed. Through creation energy. The only problem is that this now removed all the creations. So. All right. Isn't Twitch about risking it for the biscuit? Yeah. True. All right. Um. I feel like I'm missing. I put fingernail castle there. Okay. Yeah, it's on the board. It's on okay. The Lightning forest, dark, dark forest. Lightning forest. Okay, now we're okay. You guys can't get any kingdom death unless you attack him. The reaction on all hit cards. Unless there's an AI card that has a... There might be. There might be. We haven't seen one yet. Yeah. All right. And whose turn is it? You went, red went. Oh, it's still your turn. Yes. You're attacking the majestic chest now. It. Crit? No. Okay. Don't want to crit. I don't, I don't have an All right, so it's a wound. And I'm going to surge to YOLO this. Getting a little low. You still have the Crest Crown, though. Yeah, I still have Crest Crown. Um, you know what the top card is? Yes. I could spend two Insanity at the end of my turn to check the top card. But if you know what it is, no. That's, it's fine. Didn't the tree say I can go to Kingdom Death? No, you read the tree to... The tree goes, you go adjacent to the king. Yeah, it just lets you teleport to the king. All right, so I hit three times. You're surging, right? Yeah. Um, I got the other two inflorescence cards. Of course, the one we need is the last one, but it's... We got it. We got it. Was it toughness? 25? 24? I, I, 100%. All survivors suffer four damage to the head. Okay, so the trap's fine. Rift is fine. I need to eat the uh, other acanthus. Um, yes. Um, which would put you at six minus four. Okay. And then Lux Mr. Durba Durba Durba. Oh. We didn't do your. Uh, we, uh, I'll do it at the end of the round. Okay. All right, so now I'm still going. Yes. Now it's the other one. It's the last one. Fire Palace. This one has a crit. 
Ooh. All right. Look at that hurts me. But you're not there. But I'm not there, so. I crit. crit. On the board. So we do a wound. All right, so all Kingdom Death locations are unlocked. Yay! And I automatically crit his Majestic Shawl. Again, a void fabric. Okay. All right. Um, there are four cards left in his hit location. So I can do another full swing. I've already gone twice. This time. I have. I still have my 10, so I can technically surge in the beginning of his turn and then auto crit the stack. It does. It's just that it does damage to any survivor within three spaces of the Fire Palace in Kingdom Death, but no one was there. Yeah. So now that all the locations, nothing happens. Just I can go. I can go wherever I want. Yeah. I can also surge with red and just go for it, but I don't. You want to go and manipulate the AI deck now? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Bring you here. You get to. I'm just gonna. Hand. I made that. You get to look. No, no. You have 14 cards. It was the bottom cards, right? Top cards are what you want. Top 14 cards. Top 14. That was stupid. Bad match. I, I shuffled the uh, wound stack by accident. I didn't shuffle it. I just put it on the bottom. That was fun. But there's a card to set my insanity this year. Oh, is there? Yeah. <laughs> so we want something that is preferably going to target me, but allow me to surge in first. Right? And so, question for you, Josh, because I surge in here, right? Um, if, I'm putting something else in play. If I crit, he's knocked down, but he stands back up at the end of my attack. Yes. So it doesn't matter. Um, he has a trade card here, which I'm going to put on top. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I want to put this in play. This is, this is a dangerous card. Start of the monster's turn. Any survivors in the monster's face in with it or dust. Dead. No! Why would you put that there? But, but when you defeat the monster, you gain the death crown rare gear. What's the death crown? I don't know. It's a red gear. We need to do 14 damage to him? It's at... When is it? At the at end the of... the start of the monster's turn. So no one can... St no one can end their turn in front of him. That's all it is. I fucking hate you because now I want to do it. <laughs> Just do it. We're going to do it. Fuck it. YOLO. I don't care. So I'm going to put this on top. I hate you. He doesn't attack. He just does this. I know. Um, actually... What's the energy... He needs two death energies and then one of each. And he's going to draw an energy to begin of his turn. So. Yeah. That's it. Do it and be careful. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it's used for. We're, we're doing it. Okay. I hate you. Then how do you want me to organize this? All the legendaries go on the fucking bottom. Top. No, top. You're right. Because you want to take them out. Yeah. I'm going to hit three times. Five we, legendaries in the deck. We want something... I don't know. There's still five legendaries in the deck? He has like eight legendary cards. Ooh. Wait, this is actually another cool card. It was the Royal Tax. Which is, it's going to pick one survivor. Yeah. They're going to get plus one term, torment, but they are permanently hushed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then he draws all the remaining energy cards. And she only has a couple that's left. kind of anyway. cool. 
That, that's kind of cool. We're going to get rid of that one. That one's really bad. And we have no way to check hit location. I can check the top card. Okay. You want to know the Death Crown stuff? Sure, why not? We are running into a time wall. Just yeah, FYI. I'm working on it. All right, so I'm going to put the Death King on top. Yeah. And then it's going to put in three legendaries after it. And then I can put in Royal Tax on the bot after that. Okay. So after we do three wounds, he'll have his tax card that he gives us. So we only want to do three damage, actually. Okay. It'll also give me time to get back, try to... Because I don't want to attack him blindly while I'm in Kingdom. Yeah. No, that's bad. But you're not leaving. You still have to go to the I know. I, fire I, palace. Like, we might need to like take a round or two. Like, kind of. Yeah, because we have all the time in the world with this guy beating yeah. the shit out of us. This one's fine. One's fine. Do 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 Oh, the nice thing is we can check his AI cards any also. Yeah. Oh. So the last three are pretty tame. Okay. His tamest card, so just All right. But so now it's the monsters. Yeah, everyone's gone. Yeah. Monster. Has Twitch gone? Anything for them to do? They could start running to not well, his facing. Yeah. And remember, they need to be the furthest away. If he draws an energy card, yeah, he's going to draw an energy card first. So his energy card is going to be creation. So they're going to get three brain damage. Five brain damage. Five brain damage. So that's just brain trauma? Okay. Oh, I didn't grab a basic resource for my death. They're all the 10, so it's a 9. That is cool. That's not the right card. That's the card you put on top. Let me see the deck. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I took all the other cards and I... They are knocked down and gain 1d10 in sand. Death King! At the start of the monster's turn, any survivors in the monster's facing wither does dead. When you defeat the monster, gain the death crown. Rare gear. Boy. I mean, it takes away health. No one has to another. door. Uh, a 1. They gain 1 in... All right, it's our turn now. I'm full swinging. Do you want to move? Absolutely. We'll go there. 3D tens, hits on a two plus. I rolled a one, so I only hit twice. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to try to wound. Try to wound this one first. I crit. Okay. So. Fine. Still suffer 1d5 uh, brain damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, three. No, five rounds down to two. 
Five? Five is a three. three. So I crit. We gain the majestic arm. Get the damage. Osseus Labyrinth automatically gets crit. We gain the pallium. And the monster gains a minus one evasion token. All right. We need to reshuffle the hit location. I'm going to surge to shuffle the hit location deck. Okay. I still have my 10. I didn't use it. Okay. My auto crit. So what happens if we draw the trap card while I'm in Kingdom Death? You suffer monster level severe injuries. Okay. What now? You check the top card? I spent two insanity to check the top card. It is super dense that knock. This one's actually not great. The attacker and any adjacent survivor suffer four damage, knock back seven away from the monster, and then the monster is adjacent. This is actually. That'll actually fuck us up. Unless. I could bury it, I could whip it. Can't whip it. You can any. So I whip it. I can auto crit the whip, hmm. and then I can not. I can potentially knock him down. It will knock him down. Knock him down for the other one. So let's. I, th I say we do that. Okay. Are you gonna surge? Yeah, I'm gonna surge. Give me my survival. Got thirteen. Two hits. Okay. Looked. It's got its thirteenth arm again. Got that. Dad. On the top. Uh, so the... I need... Yeah, I need to... I guess it doesn't really matter. I could... No, it does matter. No. Hold on. You don't knock him down with the... Oh, the weapon is a grand weapon. It is a grand. Do. The question is, do we want another majestic arm? Or do we do the... Blah, 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 blah crit. Which has potential... The blah, 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 blah okay. crit. So I'll attack one I don't of think these. there. I'm not sure there's another majestic arm in the deck. Actually, this is a good one to crit. So I'm going to attack this one. There's one more. Um, I technically you get to roll first. So roll first. It it is sharp, right? Not a crit. I'm going to spend my ten. It is okay. a crit. Uh. Just... The monster has minus one damage token. And he is now knocked down. But the other thing is not a reaction. I still get the minus D5 and set. Yes. So, oh, uh, how much? Four. Okay. This goes away. Attacking the 13th arm. Still attack this. Roll a 10. That's a crit. Justic arm. Okay. Oh. Ends back up. Do I just attack? I don't know. I'm gonna go with green. Oh, we lost that one AI card. Yeah. Well, it's technically still in the middle of Red's turn because Red spent the insanity to check and then oh, you started okay. for turn. Yeah. So if I need to go, I need to go now. And risk it. What else you can do? No. I mean, there's only we can only be so safe because we can only check the top card. It's more of how many turns is it going to take me to get over there? One, two, three. One, three, three turns. Yeah. In. One's closest threat facing, and then closest survivor. So red should take a step back then. Back's me. Oh, wait a minute. I should have taken one last hit when red got attacked. I have high roller. I forgot. Oh, yeah. And then this one does current, too. So yeah, we want this one to attack. So yeah, red just take a step back. 
I need to take a. I need to move so I'm not within the. Oh, he does do ghost. So yeah, you have to. So move. I need to move over here. And can I be in this blind spot? Field of view or closest? Closest. I can't be. Can't be there. Oh, duh. Yeah. But once he moves, both Twitch and I can run and jump up on the tree. He needs to use a little more space. Build a ghost on oh. the tree on top. Twitch and I can jump on up on the tree. Yeah. And technically. No. Never mind. Okay. So it's our turn now. Okay, monster's turn. Yeah, Monster Curl is going to move to Griffin. No one in the monster's facing. No one in the monster's facing. So we're not dust. He draws a... Energy card. Energy card. So it's targeting Twitch. They take five brain damage again. And trauma. And then he draws an AI card. It's going to target me. Post geometry. Okay. Uh, Twitch rolled a two, so I need to use your lifetime rate. Rut row, Raggy. They're dead. Life flashes before our eyes. That was your reroll. That was your reroll. Okay. We get a resource. I forgot. Which one? myself yeah gg's Woo! i mean you had pacifists you're kind of kind of got neutered not kind of very fucking neutered so what resource did we get uh mystery meat okay that's good we need 60 tens to be rolled he hits me on an eight plus Gonna dash onto. Technically, there's no flow yet. A flow when. He... Oh, oh, he technically he's on the tree. Mm. You guys would have done mad damage to him. Oh yeah, we we would have absolutely destroyed him. Two hits. Yeah, I'm gonna steal a nine and I'll dodge the other. Okay. So the current doesn't happen. Okay. The end of the monster's turn is our turn. Oh, we never moved. Yeah, we didn't move you. I should have moved three spaces. Okay. I'm just going to have you go now. Okay. What's the next AI card? Uh, oh, the really nasty and Turn to face the most survivors. Can, can one of us take this? It's just the plus torment close. Um, so I don't mind the torment for me. Okay, so but it's I, intimidate all targets. Right, but it's target all survivors in facing. Okay. So if I move to his side, he can turn to face you. Yeah. So we can cheese this one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So we'll we'll take a turn, basically. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm gonna move on to the tree. You're gonna be on the tree. Yeah. Okay. The only thing is he pulls the last creation energy. So I'll take it. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter for you, does it? No. We we uh we play a little too fast and loose with Twitch. 
their their char- if their character didn't get fucked up, then obviously we wouldn't have done. Yeah. That. Um. All right. So he pulls that. He faces you now. No one's in his facing now. He turns to put you in his face. He does not go geometry. He just turns. Yeah. So you suffer five brain damage. And I get a torment. And you get a torment. I'm at three torment. All right, and that's the end of that. So Green's turn. Green's going to go here. Uh, roll a d10. What do I need to do? Seven plus. What happens if I don't roll seven plus? You and all survivors in the king's facing suffer five damage, actually. So you probably want to move red first. I'm going to move red first. Red's going to spend... Oh, I didn't do it last round. I should have spent two insanity to check the top of location. Oh, yeah. Osseus Labyrinth, it's got a pallium one. The crit. Fine. It gives the monster minus one evasion token. So I take five damage if I don't roll seven? Yeah. Seven plus. Archive all flammable gear. I don't have anything flammable. Okay. I wing a ding ding here. You want to wait for me to get? Oh, what's the next AI card? Let's check AI cards. Yeah, you're right. And debate if it's double death. Oh, this one fucking me. Ten speed. It only hits me on a ten. But it does an ass load of damage. It, it's just really nasty. Yeah. I think we gotta get rid of this. Okay. That's fine. Do you want to attack with your whip instead of your... Lower speed? Yeah. Yeah. I... So, I think I attack for everyone that's in that area. Alright, so, two hits. Okay. Good. Yeah, 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 we're good. Good, fam. All right. He's there. Black's primary. You don't have sharp. I don't have sharp. It's a crit. Uh, so we get a pallium. Or you have it. But he has minus one evasion. Yeah, another minus one evasion for him. I'm attacking his majestic ape. Thick ape. Seven. It's another crit. We can't avoid do fabric. To, do you want to use your nine? Do you have high roll available? Not going to surge again, no. So yeah. I Unless he has a really nasty card. I can still use the... I, I'll be okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll use the nine. Which health does he have? Uh, five. What's his discard? Seven. And that's a persistent injury. Do we get anything for that? Void fabric. I think we already have. This attacks the closest survivor. He does ghost geometry. Survivors in the creation zone suffer... Auto hit. Get rid of this one. Okay. Yeah, because this is just an auto hit. Okay, do you want to search? Yeah. Search with the whip. Two is still a hit. Right? That's it. How much minus evasion does he have? Two. Two is just enough to hit. Yep. You could stand me up potentially. What's the other card? Reaction. Yeah, I should. I I, I just I, I need just... to go for this. One. You're right. I need to. Hold a one. So I failed. Yeah. Actually, 
Okay. I'm attacking his majestic gut. Seven, that's a... Two wounds. Okay. What's the top AI card now? Uh, the Flea Intimidate. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfectly fine. Okay. All right, so that's the end of our turn. I was going to move on. Howdy. Before this comes into play, what? we're in the center of the showdown board, just top of us. Oh, he moves. Okay. But he doesn't ghost geometry. He just lands on top of us, right? Yeah. So we, we just, just get knockbacks. Just get knockbacks. Yeah. Not a big deal. Turn is if we get knocked back too far, we dash. Dash. Okay. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so he's we, he, no one's in his facing, so he's gonna jump in the center of the showdown board. We get knocked back. I'm gonna say we get knocked back in two seconds. We're there. Uh, each survivor rolls a d10. I suffer the flea. I suffer the flea. Is well. Death Trait still in play? Death King? Yes. But we weren't in his face. Yeah, we weren't in his face. It's at the start of his turn. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we suffer Flea. Of the board edge. And it's a D5 insanity. I had chat. I gain three. I didn't say he turns to face the survivors. No. So I purposely left him facing away from yeah. us. Okay. If you check the top card, it should be another pretty... Resonance Pulse Mood. Resonance comes to play to all survivors that are not hushed, lose survivor. survival. When the monster cannot perform an AI because of its energy requirement, perform it anyway, then discard this card. So it's fine. That's just yeah, a mood to put And it actually makes them lose health. Yeah, so it's actually good for us to not do anything okay, this turn. Okay, so I'm going to try to freaking... Yep. Okay. Get damage. Five damage? Uh, I'll spend two insanity to check the top. Hard. Hit uh, location. Yeah, hit location. The king's coin. Yeah. If crit. Move back closer. Yep. Is his mood draw another AI card or? No, it's not. Yep. All right. So what are the three cards that are in his discard? one we just did the flea the flea one the brain trauma the torment brain trauma torment and then creation spark which is just like kind of a basic attack one okay so nothing back yep nothing too bad just just ducking around all right so uh monster's turn monster guard moves to adam he does this so this just comes into play he loses the health yep that's it come on Yay! All right, so we get the master key, and you suffer five damage to the arms. The arms? Yep. I kick a heavy hit on the arms. You find a door adorned with tracings of flame. A key sits in the keyhole. You grab the red hot key, but it will not turn. Uh, you instead gain master key and suffer five damage to the arms. I got the master key. Yay! 
Master Key can open anything. Archive this to ignore any lock requirement. Departing survivors may take this with them. So, I checked the top hit location card already, right? Not checked the hit location. Oh, yes, you did. I did. King's coin. Okay. I mean, we could theoretically just tank one more turn. Yeah, I thought it's just tank one more turn. I just wanted to know if we should move closer or just kind of stay where we're at. Um, doesn't hurt to move closer because if we get fleed, then it might be problematic. You can move a little closer. I, I want make it so he can't go step on me though. Uh, even when you get the key, you take damage. Yeah, it's kind of ass. All right, so at monster's turn, monster control's gonna pass too. Uh, you. All right. Fuck off. Uh, so no one in facing. Was it facing? Oh. Oh no, turn to face the most survivors. I'm just facing me again. Yeah. Get another torment, which isn't annoying. No, four torment. <laughs> And five brain damage. What's your uh, brain trauma at? Uh, 1481. All right. You now exit Kingdom Death. Yes. You go adjacent to the monster wherever you want. Go on his butt. How much health does he have left? Uh, four. Four? Yeah. You haven't wounded yet, right? No. Go for it. I don't have enough speed. You go first. Because if I hit the trap, I wound him. Oh. I would still go in with your... Knife? Or the... the whip. Why the whip? Two speed, and if you get any of those nasty fucking cards that don't have a crit action... Oh, I can add a crit. You can add a crit to it. Yeah, you're right. Right. You, you're always right. Oh, only one hit. Okay. I know it's we safe, know it's though. safe. Crit. We gain King's Coin. Okay. Take the damage. You already got the King's Coin. There's two of them. There's two. All right. You can check the top A hit location. Yeah, I'll go to my turn, spend two insanity, and check it. Uh, it's a crit death metal. The wound reaction's fine. He has three health left? Yep. I'm attacking. Blind spot. Or do you want me to surge and you hit the whip? And then if you just roll into the trap card, then you kill. Sure. So I'll, I'll surge. One hit. One hit. We know it's safe. We know it's safe. It's just funny. Crit. Okay. Gains death metal. He gains a damage token. So we now know his one card is the turn to face and then give someone torment. So we have two options here. Yeah. We just let him go again. You want to take another torment? I have so much insanity to me. Take okay. a brain trauma is is very unlikely, okay. not impossible, unlikely. But then I can check the top hit location and make sure it's clear because we have to do two damage. Yeah, or I can just yolo it. I think yolo it. Okay, so I hit on a six plus. Uh, no, I hit on a two plus. Nine and a nine. Okay. No tarp card? No tarp card, and this doesn't have a first strike. The dark the dork dork forest. Um actually do the dark dark forest. It's not bad reaction. Six. Wound. Twenty four. Actually just enough. Oh no, I have uh, uh, no I'm fine. Now you're attacking his arm rib cage. Oh, He's dead! 
Yeah. We killed him and we got the key. We got the key. We did lose someone though. We lost two people. We lost two people. Yeah. The scout, I'm not like overly concerned about. They weren't anyone special. Uh, Twitch was the, the levy bound child that we found. But like, we didn't have any metal weapons for them to use. So. Yeah. Kind of. Yep. All right. So we beat the king. We get 200 XP and one level of weapon proficiency. I am now a spear specialist. I'm technically retired, but you know what? Our says no. no. You go out. I age up. Oh, I am now. Did a he set the insanity to a lower number? Oh, the sur it's survival though, right? The reaction on the first yeah. One. What is it? Set the set survival. Survival to the lowest uh, character. Um. I, I just became a Grand Weapon Master. Okay. So that's what again? Oh, when a Grand Weapon Master perfectly hits with a Grand Weapon, cancels all reactions for this attack. That's nice. What else do we get, Matt? Um, four basics, ten king, and a black lichen. Oh. And the Death Crown. There was three resources left, Matt. Aww. We didn't completely farm it. I didn't crit nearly as much. Oh, wait, time. I should. I lied. Oh, don't forget the scavenger kit. Yeah. And the, the apple. One resource left. Close, but no Close. cigar. The Royal Declaration is here. Yeah. Grab it in a second. A little thick sack. Thick stack. I mean, we got. We just didn't get one. I think last stream was our most successful farming endeavor, though. All right, so we got a death metal, a king's coin, a mystery meat, a majestic arm, his other arm, his brain, monster organ, some void fabric, monster bone, king's coin, the ancient blade, heavy chain, hissing cockroach, monster hide, nightmare tick, monster hide, monster bone, black lichen, king's collar, antique bangle, king's cloth, king's cloth, hylorix, king's cloth, stone infant, spiral pauldron, hollow crown... Uh, just, if it's happening or shutdown. Pylorix, Pylorix, Spiral Pauldron, some Love Juice, a Perfect Bone, a Monster Hide, and another Love Juice. Do something. Gear card right in front of you. On the table. Oh. The Death Crown, Item Death Metal, Other Cursed, Selfish, Plus Three Accuracy Strength. <laughs> it is cursed. Can I have it? Do you need the three evasion? I don't. Yeah. Remember what happened earlier in the stream? Mm. It is so, cursed, so it's also selfish. You can't have any other gear in your kit. I think your whip might be other. The god mask is other. Yeah, and the god mask is other. The whip is other. You have two other gears in your room? What? You have the god mask and the whip. It's the selfish key where the whip selfish doesn't let you have right. other gear. I mean, we could probably put this on Twitch's new character. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Wait, we die and you get it? Well, I'll probably put it on Twitch. Um, all right, so we're going back to settlement? Yes, so we, we need, need two settlement, settlement events. And the uh, farm settlement events. Two! Switch uh, cams. Huh? Switch the cameras. What? Got concert. And Dark Trader. Dark Trader. They're both kind of shitty. Yeah, we'll do Dark Trader. Concert doesn't give us anything. Now we get our returning uh, resources from Morg. Oh, um, I have. Uh, oh, I say I was gonna. I leveled up, find the castle. I just had to move diagonally twice. Yeah. And 
Uh, everyone gets a checkbox at the end of uh, if you have something to check. Oh, good. Should have been doing that. What? So I have perfect physique, which is it allows me to when I make an attack, basically on my turn, get minus three movement plus three. Oh. How many observations? Let's just leave it. We'll just bubble up next time. I'm probably going to honestly get rid of it. Yeah. Our trader's stupid. Um, can I have my heroism back there? Did you level up with any characters? Yes, both my characters level. What, uh... Uh, romanticism and realism. All right, I just you took it from me earlier. Yeah, I know. I yelled it at me. Put it. Fuck. Um, Griffiths hit rank four and heroism. Heroism. Uh, regalism. All right. Gain five insanity, gain the knowledge affirmation, and roll a d10. Put it. Um, here's our other resources that we got from the morgue. We got a monster bone, a broken lantern, a monster organ, a monster organ, and a perfect hide. Affirmation? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Oops, all berries. Oops, all bear knees. Positive affirmation. It's all real. Uh, you can spend insanity as though it were survival. Kind of tease that. But yes. This is on the character that gets a million bajillion survival. Uh, yeah, they're at 1484. Uh, all right. Romanticism? What rank? Uh, four. Gain one Lumi and roll a d10. Oh, you didn't roll a d10 I before. Didn't, yeah, we didn't do any of the rest of it. Well, because you're just distracted. Six. We have 31 CC. Yes. Gain the knowledge sword and shield style. I already have it. Oh, okay. Right, I had it. Technically get it again. Yeah. So, I get rid of Unyielding, I guess, because... Take an affirmation. Gain one luck. Ooh, yeah. All right. Next. Um, romanticism or one. Oh, we, we all gain two Lumi on, re on return. Okay. Seven. Uh, I rolled a one. You could have gotten White Secret. I don't need it. It, it just would give me Ageless. Uh, you get lose all courage and gain weak spot waste. Oh, never mind. Because we have 17 CC. Do not do that. Instead, gain a courage and gain the knowledge eudaimonia. Eudaimonia? Eudaimonia? You need to find the Marrowism philosophy yeah, book. They... So rudely misplaced. Some boobies on this one. Uh, eudaimonia, when you make an observation, gain one understanding. Before making a wound roll, you may spend any amount of understanding to gain that much luck. Wound attack. Okay. So you want an easy thing to observe. Ideally. Where's my damn Marrowism? Josh.
Not past the back yet? Oh, it's here. Okay. Uh, all right. Marrow is a mega monument of yourself. Uh, your systemic pressure is always zero. That's cool. Uh, gain one strength. I now use a bony in your eater miniature. That one strength actually makes a world of difference. Now I have eight strength. Gain one Lumi. So I have 20 Lumi. Full D10. Mara's involved, Dong. Just roll a D10 and get Dong. What? The chest. Bone eaters are all Dong. Roll a D10 and just get Dong. A Marrow Monarch knowledge? Oh, that's the one where you hit and you. What you had before? All the Marrow Marrowists get this ability. What does it do again? That's a big old dick. Uh, cutthroat. On a perfect hit, gain an activation after your attack ends. Just immediately be spent. Oh my god. What's the thing that we saw that allowed me to auto crit with a perfect hit? I get rid of perfect physique. Perfect. Well, we, we did see something earlier today that had that, right? Yeah. But was it a, the ability on the... S Here? I don't know. Oh, was it? We'll have to find it. Because Precision. Precision, Precision ability? What no, that it? was one world of wondering when you get the yeah, it's auto crit. Oh, it's, oh, the precision is yeah. No, it's precision. So it's royal just, decorations, which is here. Yeah. So basically, we want to put the royal decorations on my character with high roller above the giggling scythe. Because then I can use the giggling. I can use my high roller, to do an extra perfect hit, gain an extra activation, auto-crit my entire first attack, yep. and then get a free attack. Yeah. Power Dom. So definitely retooling my gear. Um, anything else today, Josh? Is there a story for... No story. I'm just seeing how many endeavors we have. We have seven endeavors. Um, and do you want to make that a uh, sword real quick? Now we got the key for. But the blue blue location. Finger darts, apparently. The what location? The blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, requires... Oh, but you use the master key to make it. Yeah. Fine. Okay. I want it. So, yeah, it's the blah, 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 the katana. So it is a 3, 6, 12, uh, Mordon, or gives extra activation during surge if you haven't used throat already. Uh, weapon melee, grand katana, heavy death metal, other sharp, unique. At the end of your attack, if you wounded the monster, you make great divide. I didn't say what we need to do. No. That's the master key. 
Uh, we need a master key, a king's cloth, two death metal, and a leather. Master key. I use the leather from storage. King's claw. The key could get us the um, uh, perfect slayer. But we need to roll a ton of it. And now we got a cool new weapon. Do we want to roll for the gaming gazebo quickly? Oh, we can do that. Pat, please roll really bad here. Alright, so we've made the katana. Not badly enough. Uh, we gave the joy of gaming. Yeah. Yeah, it's just okay among these beings. Yeah, they, they... Well, you don't know what the Great Divide is yet. Yeah. Um, all right. Anything else, Josh? That's it. All right. Oh, that was an endeavor to do that. Right. Thank you, folks, for joining. Yeah, for joining us today. It's going to conclude today's episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Please join us next time, next Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, going into Lantern Year what? 28. I have to fight Antis. Atnus. Level 3 Atnus. Uh, so, if you want to know what's going on, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, chat with us on our Discord channel, most importantly, and tell us... How you want us to fight Atnus, I think we'll probably be okay. But I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. It's been a while since we fought him, but I think our survivors are a little crazy. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you get Prime Gaming, which you get one free sub every month. We love it if you use it on us. And even if you use a regular sub, we love that too. Really do appreciate the support from all of our loyal subscribers and just our viewers too. Um, Josh, anything else then? That's it. Ready, folks. Much appreciated. Again, signing off. I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Good night, everyone.